Earlier, when Soviet Union and the United States of America indulged into famous space race in 1960s, there was a lot going on in space exploration. But a very few people know that humans didn't only start going out to space, but also to explore the deepest depths of our planet, Earth. Science is a very fascinating thing that bounds and constrains geography, mathematics, history and many other areas of interest within itself. Scientific curiosity has always been a crazy trait of mankind. Something similar happened when USA and Soviet Union decided to compete for space race. A new curiosity of digging deep into the earth emerged and a new battle began. So we've known much about the outer space, but today we'll dive deep into the earth and find out what is the deepest depth that mankind has ever reached? Before understanding about what happened between USA and Soviet Union and how it is related to the deepest depth on the planet, we need to understand the distance between Earth's surface and the center of the Earth. As we all know, Earth is divided into four layers that is crust, mantle, outer core and inner core. And for a catch, did you know that Earth's crust itself is between 40 to 70 kilometers in depth? To put that into perspective, approximately 84 buildings that are equal to the size of Burj Khalifa can fit into our Earth's crust, the uppermost and thinnest layer of Earth. Now you might be thinking that, Shaz, if the thinnest layer of Earth can go up to 84 Burj Khalifas, then how many Burj Khalifas will fit into whole Earth? Well, in terms of depth, from the surface of the Earth to the center of the Earth, approximately 7,692 Burj Khalifas will fit in. That is insane right our planet is so big back to earth's layers earth's mantle extend to a depth of about 2900 kilometers making it the planet's thickest layer and earth's core including inner and outer core goes up to 6371 kilometers initially i thought if there's a depth deep enough on earth it has to be under ocean because oceanic depth is below sea level and ocean is so vast so i started my research and came across a trench called as mariana trench a trench basically means a deep narrow hole that is below the average surface if you have seen the movie mech to the trench this is what the trench precisely means the mariana trench is located in the western pacific ocean and east of the mariana islands the trench stretches for over 2500 kilometers and reaches incredible depths its deepest point known as the challenger deep is the lowest known point on earth's seabed it's a fascinating and mysterious place in the ocean that scientists have been studying for a long time challenger deep that is in the mariana trench is approximately 36,070 feet deep that is freaking 10.994 kilometers deep in the ocean this might not sound much but let me tell you that a total of 13 Burj Khalifas might fit into it if we arrange them in a vertical order to give you a more clear picture if we turn the Mount Everest upside down and place it in Mariana Trench there will be still approximately 2 kilometers of space left to reach till the Challenger Deep Insane right? And can you believe that humans have already reached the Challenger Deep? On 23rd January 1960, two men Don Walsh and Jackis Picard went deep down to the Challenger Deep and became first humans to reach such a depth in the ocean. This mission was carried by Swiss-designed, Italian-built, United States Navy-owned Badiscape Triest. Now, Badiscape Triest is a submersible which is designed to go deep underwater. Interestingly, famous movie director James Cameron, who directed movies like Titanic, Terminator and Avatar, also went deep down to the Challenger Deep on 26th March 2012. The most fascinating thing is he went solo. You will also find a whole documentary about it on the internet. Now coming back to our major question, is the Challenger Deep the deepest part of the earth that humans have ever reached? Surprisingly, the answer is no. The deepest depth you will find on our planet is located near the Russian border with Norway on the Kola Peninsula. It was a drilling project carried by Soviet Union known as the Kola Super Deep Borehole. The story behind it is extremely interesting. It started by an American project known as the Project Mohol. 
At first, in 1957, the American physical oceanographer Walter Munk stated that the goal behind Project Mohor was to obtain samples of the Mohorovicic discontinuity, which is the boundary between Earth's crust and mantle. According to National Academy of Sciences, if successful, the findings would provide invaluable information on the Earth's age, makeup, and internal processes. But in reality, Project Mohor was a response to a rumor that spread. in united states during the famous space race the rumor was soviet union will be trying to dig a super deep hole although the rumor came out to be true as the soviet union started drilling a super deep hole on 24th may 1970 both countries tried their best to reach as deep as possible near earth's mantle but america's project mohol failed in 1966 as the funding provided to it was stopped america was only able to dig till a few hundred meters whereas soviet union drilled 40230 feet deep bore hole and it took 20 years to drill this hole in the earth's surface the kola super deep bore hole if converted into kilometers it becomes 12.2 kilometers deep and that is deeper than the challenger deep as i said earlier that earth's crust is somewhere between 40 to 70 kilometers deep and digging a hole that is 12.2 kilometers deep makes it only one third part of the earth's crust still this bore hole was so deep that local staying there started calling it the entrance to the hell although no human can go inside it as its diameter is only 9 inches now if the kola super deep bore hole was so successful in drilling 12.2 kilometers deep then why did they stop drilling it the drilling stopped due to increasing temperature scientists were only ready to face is temperature till 100 degree celsius more temperature than that would have caused issues this project was also able to find 24 microscopic species fossils 6 kilometers below the surface that happens to be 2 billion years old the most fascinating thing to me is it took 20 years for humans to dig 12.2 kilometers deep bore hole whereas in only 26 years we humans were able to escape the solar system yes I'm talking about Voyager 1 a trip of 23 billion kilometers away from earth it simply proves that exploring a few kilometers below the earth's surface is more difficult than exploring billions of kilometers in outer space i hope you have learned a few things and now you know what is the deepest depth on earth that mankind has ever reached subscribe with those for content that makes you smarter